Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Capricorn love prediction reading for January 23rd through January 29th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy. Your significant other's energy or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoyed my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, stubborn, sweet loving kind capricorns show me what's going on with my capricorn spirit guys show me what's going on with my caps let's see spirit guys show me what's going on let's see caps what you got going on knight of pentacles or knight of coins as this deck says the temperance card Page of Cups. Queen of Cups. And the Six of Swords. Capricorn, you've got that Knight of Pentacles leading your reading. This means either you are taking too long to make your move when it comes to somebody or somebody is taking too long to make their move when it comes to you. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I think they're taking a little bit too long for, to step to you. And let me say this because they simply have um, want to be close to you. They're all Whomever this person is, they're around you all the time. This is someone that's around you all the time. They've been watching you for quite some time they've been watching you because it's not a pentacles means they're determined to get you absolutely but they take their time they they put they're very patient they put one foot in front of the other and they figure out how they're going to get you because i think that you intimidate them somewhat i'm just saying capricorn i'm a cap and i'll say it all the time we can be a little intimidating especially to men sometimes and this person is a little intimidated but not all the way because they're saying they're, this this uh, knight of pentacles is determined they, it might take them some time. They've been patient, but they're determined. There is something about you, this closeness that, that they want to be with you. They want to be around you. That, um, that, that temperance card means I, I just want to be around. I want to be close to you. I want to be so close I can smell your perfume. I mean, I just, I, I, I want to you. I, that's all the temperance card is saying. The temperance card is saying this person is already in their minds. They have already seen you being their person. Um, and, you know, they might have made love to you in their mind a couple of times, too. But the temperance card is a very, they want to be intimate, very intimate with you. They want to know you intimately, not just in a sexual sense, but in a mind sense, too. They, they, they really want to. And I really say that because they've been very patient. No one is as patient with someone and, and um, have this temperance card. They are very patient when it comes to you. They will do whatever it takes. But they're determined to get you. But here is this temperance card. Temperance can also represent a Sagittarius person. But it could be anyone because this is a general read. The Page of Cups is in the middle of this reading. This person, I do believe, is, is fun, has a good time. But here's the deal. They may be a little younger than you, Cap. I'm being very honest. This person may be a little younger than you. That might be what makes them a little apprehensive about stepping to you. They may be just a little uh, younger than you, but the thing is, is they're still around you. Whomever this person is, they are around you. Here's a Queen of Cups. They see you as everything. They see you as being, Queen of Cups is my ride or die girl. That's my, my girl. They see you as being non-judgmental. They see you as, they've already talked to you. They've been talking to you for quite some time. You just don't realize it. But they see you as this Queen of Cups. Someone that they can bring anything to and you don't judge them. You accept them for what they are. 
This Queen of Cups is ride or die. This Queen of Cups will cook for you. They'll take care of you. They'll clean. You will do. I think you may have even already served or given them food before. I mean, I think you may just be friends with them too. And I'm going to say that. You may be friends with them. Now, this is interesting to me because this is Six of Swords. Now, Six of Swords means moving away. That's the last cup in this read. But I think they're moving away from taking a long time. And I'm going to say this is the first time I've ever seen this. Um, spirit guys are telling me that they're moving away into peaceful waters because they've just been in a state of just doesn't don't know what to do and how to get you. They're getting ready to come after you with this six of swords. They're moving away from this um, being taking a long time. They're ready to make their move. They're moving away from this energy to move to the energy to get with you. So if this is your read now, sit back, relax. I want you to sit back, relax, and let me clarify the reading for you because I really want to see uh, what the spirit guys want you to know about this situation, about this person that is already around you. I really want to know what the spirit guys want you to know. Why is this Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles here for the first card? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for my caps? Oh, Queen of Wands. Who they see you. Queen of Wands. They look at you so much. They also see you as possibly a marriage of uh, someone that could be um, a, a marriage partner, a wifey to them as well. This Knight of Pentacles, they have watched you, like I said, for a long time. Queen of Wands is, is someone that's very daring. She steps out on what she wants. She gets what she wants because she is not afraid to step. She is not afraid to make those moves. She is, she is very, very, people know her when she walks in. Sometimes she can be a little bit selfish. I'm just being honest. But the Queen of Wands is someone that is very, very comfortable in their own skin. This person sees you that way as a Queen of Wands. Let's see why this Temperance card is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Ooh, why is the Temperance card here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is this Temperance card here for my Caps? Show me why the Temperance card is here for my Capricorns. Oh, I see the World card. The World card is, yeah, you've known this person, and I've said it be before. You've been round and round with this person. You you and this person, and I do believe this may be a friendship. You've been friends, and you've been with them through ups and downs, highs and lows. You're at a point now that it's time to go to the next level. You're happy with how this relationship is now with being friends, as being good friends, but... You've completed this cycle with them, and now you want to go into a different relationship. That's why you have that Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands can be wifey. You want to move this uh, relationship into something different now, to a next level. You've already been through, you've completed all the different cycles with them, and now it's going ready to go into that new cycle of the, with this person. So let's see why the Page of Cups is here. Oh, your cards want to fall out. Oh, they want to talk to me. Why is this Page of Cups here? Sh hold on just a moment. Let's see why this Page of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Page of Cups here for my uh, Capricorns? Show me why the Page of Cups is here for Capricorns. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Page of Cups here for Capricorns? Look at that. That Hierophant card. I told you. You look at this person as a marriage partner. Um, you, you, I, I think you're a little, and I'll say this, you're already friends. Big powerful thing with a Capricorn to be a friend with them. That's very, very important with Capricorns. The hyphen means marriage. It can mean a tradition. Um, you know, you may be younger than them, but you're definitely um, an adult. You're, you're a wise soul. So this hyphen here can represent a Taurus person, can be anyone. But the hyphen card does represent the Taurus sun sign. But the, the hyphen card here does say that you look at this person as a possible mate. A possible, uh, a possible mate. Man, your cards really want to talk. A possible mate for you. And you are the Page of Cups. And I'll say you're younger. Whomever I'm reading for, you're younger than my Capricorns. And that's what's making them a little apprehensive to come towards you. But it's almost like you've taken this person under your wing, Capricorn. And even though they were younger than you, and I think you've just been there. You've helped them out. You've you, you built a friendship with them. Um, this is a very emotional relationship already. So let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Cups here for my caps? Show me why the Queen of Cups is here for Capricorns. Show me why the Queen of Cups is here for my Capricorns. Oh, I have the Page of Pentacles. 
this is a very faithful and loyal. They see you as being very faithful and loyal. They think that you will be faithful and loyal. Page of Pentacles means loyal. Trust. They trust you. They feel that you will be a faithful mate to them. They are definitely looking at you. They know you are. Like I said, you guys know each other already. Someone already in your love space. But they know you already. But they see you as being very faithful. That page of pentacles and loyal to them. They really do. So let's see why the six of swords is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the six of swords here? Show me spirit guys. Oh, look at that. That six of cups. That's my six of cups there. You had good times with this person. This six of cups, you know, this is someone that has come back into your life possibly. Maybe, uh, and when I say come back into your life, they've already been there, always been around you, but and they've come back into your life because here's the six of swords. Remember I told you the six of swords is moving away from this energy here. They're coming back to come for you. They're coming back into your life to come come back to come to you because it has just been very an emotional relationship. Um, but the six of swords means that they were this relationship has been moving in a, a slow direction in one way. And with this six of cups here, they're rejoining. They're reunion. There's going to be a reunion back with you. But this reunion is going to be one that's different because you've completed a cycle. It is time for you to um, make the move. To be, tell them what you really want, what you really need. And someone's coming for you, Capricorn. They're coming for you. Let's look at the beginning. Knight of Pentacles. Someone that's slow-moving energy, but very determined. They see you as a queen of wands. They see you as all that. They really do. They see you as making moves. They see that you're that person. Um, they look at you. They look They look at you like that. Um, they look at you as just being that woman, that girl. And here's a temperance card here. They want to be close to you. They want to be intimate with you. Not only um, physically, but uh, mentally as well. And here's the world card here because you've already been through. You're in a good place with them right now. You're friends. You're very much friends right now too. Which is a little scary for them to make the move. But they have to because they're in love with you. Here's a page of cups. This is someone that's younger than you. And there's that hyphen. And the hyphen is all about marriage. can be a Taurus person. But it's about marriage, commitment. They see you as wifey. So is this Queen of Wands means wifey. Queen of Cups, they see you. Are, they've already been there for you. Like I said, they may you may have eaten at their home many times. Or you guys have been together many times. Shared a lot of times together. But nothing, your heart space is with them. And here they see you as being faithful. Very trustworthy and faithful, Capricorn. And here you are, the Six of Swords. They're moving away from this energy here of just being friends because they want to move into something different. They want to come back. They want a reunion to come back with you on a different cycle, a different cycle, a cycle of love, a cycle of possibly marriage. They see you as that type of person. They are in love with you. They are in love with you. And they're right there by you. So let's see. They are your friend as well. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me spirit, guys. What do my oracles have to say? Well, I'm going to tell you. Oracles say a year from now. And you 